So that's, uh, give you guys an idea, uh, it's Brandon Warren's 94cc. What do we say? People ask for air. Only free air is the air coming out of your mouth. Yeah, mine's got like a nice, like a tight, like an athletic rear end. Hourglass. You're like a, like a maybe Alabama eating too many potato chips. Hey, you say you can out wheelie me? Are you sure? It needs lighter weights. Oh, okay, should, okay. okay. Not bad. Are you going straight or right? Straight, right. Oh, what are we missing anybody? So that's, uh, give you guys an idea. Uh, it's Brandon Warren's 94cc RC1. It's not bad, it's pretty good. 94cc, RC1. It's probably a 90 some odd mile an hour bike. He's doing 85. My Speedo says 85 right there. He just doesn't look like he's even wide open. That's pretty good. I think it's probably, I'm guessing it's a 20, you know, 22 wheel horse, 24 wheel horsepower bike running the MBT ignition, built that bike, uh, scooter swap shop, of course, and um, it's pretty quick. I, he's probably got uh, a thousand or a little bit more than that miles on it. He's put some, he's put some miles on it. It's not easy on it by any means. Uh, the Ryan's Benelli TNT we did. What did we do? A cam, a tune, cam a tune, intake, and uh, a cam, a tune, an intake, and exhaust. I think that's it. I got the pre bug close today to rideable, but uh, not quite, so rocking the 
the highway machine for now. Uh, David Strom, Freebug. Looks like a Yasuni R. I don't know if we did a, maybe a stock cylinder, I can't recall, but pretty much all these bikes in here, other than the, that sweet little DT, um, have been in the shop for some work. Paul's, uh, Corsa Delordo 19, Yasuni R, uh, Crank, CVT, it's, still, it's not an overrange, but he's got a full CVT on it. That's pretty much, so his bike is pretty much the same setup as, uh, as my maroon one, um, minus the fact that he's running the, he's running the R, I'm running the Leo Vince, and, um, and I have the bigger carburetor, but I think the carb's gonna give me a, carb's gonna give me an upper hand. Hey, your hood's open. Definitely much rather be on a pre bug right now. No matter what bike I ride, I always come back to wanting to ride a pre bug. Even if it's nicer, newer, faster, whatever, the pre bugs are just, I don't know, they're fun. Riding wheelies is the best. So today, we're doing something we've never done before. We're gonna give away two bikes. First bike is the Prebug. Once we hit 40,000 subscribers, we're gonna give it away to one of you guys. Now bike number two is the Bug Eye. This bike has a bunch of aftermarket parts. How you win this bike is just as easy. You already shop at scooterswapshop.com. So every dollar you spend on the store is one point entered in to win. It's really weird not having to be over there. Because I've always had two strokes. I'm always like, okay, got to fill up. Yeah. Big booty, booty. Oh, she's a big booty, bro. You know, how My wide it is. bigger, how wide it is. Whip it out. This might be wider in one spot. Up at the hips. He's got the count. birthing hips. He's I've just got the dunk. Exactly. Dunk. Yeah, mine's got like a nice, like a tight, like an athletic rear end. Hourglass. You're like a, like a maybe Alabama eating too many potato chips. This is more like, hey, this is like Target, this is Walmart. This is like Planet Fitness, and this is like Alabama Trailer Park living on food stamps. Right? Like that's just kind of hanging out. That's got more tone. This is wider, but it's much more sharp and toned and muscular. This is kind of like more flatulent. Well, well, no, it's like a, she's got a fat ass, but it's literally fat. It's not muscle. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go up to. Um, I told him we should just go to Marine Drive because it's wide and super long and Paul pu pu and wheelie and shit. And I guess I don't know how late it is, but I guess guys go there every night and there's like five to a thousand wheel horsepower cars every night drag racing up there. Been doing it for like a year because cops don't even they don't go up there. Like Marine Drive, I don't know how far west. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. No, Mason said they do it every night. He said they used to do it on the weekends. Now it's every single night. They don't care at all. He said like, they, the cops won't even pull them over because they're so busy doing other shit. They just let them kind of do their thing. Well, I, I think. Like a gaping hole in it, so they can feel air coming out, and they're like. Why is it not filling up? And then put a camera in it so every time the button gets pressed, the camera turns, turns on. Turns on. <laughs> or just have a foot pump that has a little hole in it so they just keep going and going and it actually is letting air out of their bike? Yeah. <laughs> That's so messed up. Oh. What do we say? People ask for air. Well, actually, this is Pat's quote. He says, uh, only for your is the air coming out of your mouth. <laughs> no, we should have. I'm too nice. Unfiltered opinion. I have no bias. 
That's how I feel, and I rode both of them. That's all I have to say about that. Damn, Brembo. You got GPS on this thing? You, got you mean a cell phone? I'll follow you. No. <laughs> I don't want to follow. I don't want to. I don't want anybody to follow me. Pat does. I don't know. We're just gonna head north. Oh, sweet motorhome. We're just gonna head north. Oh, uh, yeah. what is that? What are you doing? What is that? Not mine, Pat Brandon. My mirror? My beard. Oh wow, that's weird. Your drawing? It's pretty custom. No, I think that's Dustin. No. Maybe. That? I'm pretty sure that's Paul thing. Not bad, not bad. Just a little guy. 
Oh, Pat wants to race with his donk, his donk scooter. 